What's up YouTube, Zyros here, welcome back to another reaction. Today, we're going to continue reacting to Back to You, Mass Effect 1. So, let's get started, shall we? Okay, um, what do we got to do? Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. Okay. Personal question. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. I should okay. be going now. Don't it get busy? <laughs> Have a pleasant day. Um, how do I prove Saren is a bad guy? I mean, this he he does come to this place, right? Citadel Transit Terminal, like this one, you can travel directly to specific locations throughout the Citadel as you discover areas of interest. More destination will become okay. Um, first of all, what is our mission? <clears throat> uh, proved Saren, one of their Spectre agents, has gone rogue. Okay, so how am I gonna... What was this... Here. Presidium location. Citadel Tower. You have arrived at the Citadel, Citadel Tower. Who are these guys? Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Here's my favorite man from Mass Effect. Garrus Macarian. My favorite character in the series, man. Stall them. Also, I heard that Back to You started Mass Effect Andromeda. I'm not reacting to it. I'll watch it myself. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicari. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. So, who was that? Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin, head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the Council. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Where was Caden? Huh? Where was Caden? Uh, Mr. Elenko is learning how to teleport. <laughs> Maybe that comes with being a biotic. <laughs> Maybe they'll listen to you. <clears throat> okay, um, let's go. So much aliens. <laughs> okay. So. I mean, <clears throat> it'd be easier to run, but I guess we don't have the option. And we are at the Citadel Tower. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel security turned up no evidence. The Council? I hate them. I for real hate the Council in Mass Effect. <laughs> Especially Sporadus. Okay? Especially Sporadus. Yeah, that's his name, by the way. The Turian Counselor. Uh, the Asari counselor's name is Telos, and the Salarian is Valern. Yeah, just telling y'all. To support you. Or back to you if he doesn't know. <laughs> I know he'll know already. Me, come on. Your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. 
We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. Damn, I don't know. Uh, I'll find proof, I guess. I don't know. Equip a tech now. Saren's hiding behind his position as a Spectre. You need to open your eyes. What we need is evidence. So far, we've seen nothing. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? <clears throat> How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. Hmm. This meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. Because the Reapers attacked Earth in Mass Effect 3. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Uh, could be useful, I guess. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Sarah. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Balavan's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. 
I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience, no hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Killing innocents doesn't end wars, it causes them. I know how the world works, Kurt. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done, like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation. But with him gone, things are still up in the air. What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers directly to the Council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The Council just turns a blind eye. Spectres have a lot of power, Sheldon. They sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. The latest Alliance estimate puts their numbers under a hundred. But the Council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents, the last line of defense, the final option before open war. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a Spectre shows up, you know something big is about to happen. What happens when a Spectre goes rogue, like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The Council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. Okay, now I really want that Spectre position. <laughs> kind of sounds like a... I don't know. Sounds really interesting, actually. <clears throat> Alright, so what do we got to do? Oh yeah, we got to go down to... Is this fast travel? The one over by the keeper. Don't be ridiculous. The will join the I think. Wait a minute. Allowing the humans to join us is a sound strategic move. Here, let's check the map. So, is there a way to to like this, um, to scroll this? I mean, there's really no... No, unfortunately you can't scroll in the map here. You can only zoom in and out. I never used the map in this game anyway. <laughs> so we're at the Citadel Tower. <clears throat> here, let's see if we can fast travel, get to know the area. This is actually a really big place, kind of like a ring. Um, Presidium, we're looking, we'll go to the Presidium. Actually, no. The ward. Cars, okay. Whoa, okay. He edited that out. That made me laugh. Hold up. The ward. Cars. Back to you, uh, you surely know how to make me laugh. Um, perfectly timed edits. Okay. 
Whoa, okay. Good. I don't edit my videos unless it's necessary. This. What are we facing? Assassin. Come on, you guys. Oh shit! Man, <laughs> man's just pull up with a, a AR. Man's just pull up with an AR and say hello. <laughs> All right, took him out. Now what? I maybe I should save hold on. Yeah, we don't want the same thing to happen again. Well, isn't this a club? Yeah. Ain't it? <laughs> so who are we going back off, Rex? Fist told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. My favorite Krogan, Rex. Er not Rex. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. <laughs> out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Okay. Yeah, I don't think pulling out the gun. Let's not start a bar fight, okay? Let's not start a bar fight. In the middle of here is a good is a good idea. The back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. What did that other Krogan want? Rex? Personal matter. Not real chatty, is he? Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. Goodbye. Enjoy the club. Okay. So who do I talk to? Go away. Not interested. Not now. I'm watching the show. I got business here, but not with you. Oh shoot, okay. What in the world is going on? <laughs> yeah, we'll just go. Just sitting here wasting my time. Um, let's see if we can talk to the bar owner. I mean, the, the bar tender. Uh, is there anybody else we can talk to? Maybe this guy over here. Alliance military. <laughs> I could have been a marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Biggest mistake of my life. I'm looking for a CSEC officer, a Turian named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard, <laughs> still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. You said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. 
Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. Hmm. Why'd they kick him out? Have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. Bet it's a good story, though. The Heroes Fall. Classic tragedy. <laughs> Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was <laughs> sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Okay, so I guess the only way to access this room is to... Get the gears first. Let's do that. Quite an interesting club, to be honest. I don't know if I'm going the right way. I don't know what I'm doing. Presidium. Uh, what's over here? Door control. I don't think this is the room. Med clinic and CSI. Okay. Yep, this way. Could he be in here? I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Oh. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or what? Who are you? Let her go. Ah! He's shielded. <laughs> oh, we got two more over there. Hmm, let's do this one. Okay. Negative contacts, Commander. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Glad I could help. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. Does this have anything to do with the investigation into Saren? I think it might. Dr. Michel, tell us what happened. A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Feast betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. What else can you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't... Wait a minute. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Hmm. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council, and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. 
A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Alright, what is this? Nice, okay, cool. Alright, uh, we gotta go find uh, that Krogan, whatever. Plus XP. C sec. We gotta go to C sec. Um, actually, we're already here. I think. Let me check the map. <clears throat> Med. Um. Okay. Where does this go? Oh, right here. We'll go here. Okay. The the elevator leads up to C sec Academy. The okay. Let's do it. Okay, finally. That took a while. Okay, cool. Is this it? Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Well, that's an interesting saying. I think we're gonna get along just fine, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. And now, where do we go again? Oh, to Fist. We gotta go to Fist. Well, that's not the way to Fist. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going now. Hold on. What's over here? All right. Wait a minute. Oh. All right, we're gonna go back out of Seaside. We gotta get out of here. Okay. Enemy is everywhere. Hang on. Gotta be careful here because... Get back over here! Shit! Back up! <gasps> Homeboy Garrus is down. Oh my. <laughs> Should have saved it before. Lost shields. Dude has a shotgun. Is that a Krogan? He just took out a Krogan. Not. The, what the hell? Oh no. 
Come on, health. Hang on. There we go. Oh shit. <clears throat> I mean, the sniper rifle I can't really rely on because. Okay, we got more on this side. God damn it. Taken care of. Hold the line. Hold the line. It's too bad we don't. We can't take our health as quick as possible. Okay. Oh, we got more on top. Oh shit, we got more over there. I think that's a Krogan. We took one down. Why why did the other one get back up? Shot that right there. Okay, we got Garrus back. Take cover. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Heal up. Okay, next one. We're good. Pretty sure we got more. Yep, okay. Oh, we got two. Oh, they're behind those things. Oh shit, Rex is down. Last one. Maybe I should have put it on easy. Not good. Enemy is everywhere. And wait, don't kill me. I surrender. Oh, I thought we died. Where's the quarry? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait, I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian... You know where Tali is. ...in isn't here, said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Yeah, you do know... ...do know where Tali is. <laughs> face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Oh, damn. What are you doing? 
doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. We don't shoot unarmed prisoners. How many people died because of him? He brought this on himself. Besides, we have more pressing concerns. That quarian's dead if we don't go now. Holy shit. Okay. Whoa. Okay, we got some time. Uh, let's just hope we don't run into any more enemies. I don't know how much health we have, but... Oh shit, I knew it. I'm on it. Shield disabled. I don't know how many of them there are, but. Whoa! Shit, no, no, no. Oh shit, they took them all out. What do you mean you're on it? You're alone. I'm alone. I'm on it. Please tell me that's it. Look at your mini map, sir. Oh, we got two more out there. There you are. Oh shit. Better not come my way. He's coming this way. Back up. Hold the line. Oh. And he shot the box to move it. <laughs> also, you got a minute and uh, forty-five seconds left. Send me back in. Okay. Um, I have no idea where we're going, but we'll go to it. <laughs> Something about the back alleys. <clears throat> Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Um, one, Fist is dead. Two, um, the Shadow Broker is on Hogalois in Mass Effect 2. <laughs> yeah, he's a Yogg. Um, look it up if you don't know. <laughs> Ah, here we go again. Holy shit. What in the world? Okay. Hopefully this takes him out. Hello? Oh shit. Hello? Oh. Oh. 
physics and you died. <laughs> Holy crap, what happened? Oh shit. We'll go one more. One more over there. Not now, Shepard. It's gonna be over. No rush. Just win. <laughs> Finally. Thanks, Rex. Uh, you're welcome, Shepard. Finally, shit. Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. What? Your real name is Tali Zora Vos Normandy. <laughs> yep. You play Mass Effect 2 before. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. What kind of evidence did you find? How did you get it? During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I know their homeworld, Rainock. In the Perseus Vale. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. 
Wait. Um, since y'all like this in the videos, well, some of y'all anyway, here's me finishing my can of soda. <laughs> That was funny to me, but I don't know about y'all. <laughs> There's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. Mm hmm. Uh, I was going to say something, but not. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. The Protheans are not extinct. Because <laughs> um, there is a Prothean in Mass Effect 3. Only in Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Yeah. You can get them in Eden Prime in Mass Effect 3. Yeah. Then he can be your teammate. Yeah. His name is Javik. If y'all are wondering. Well, that's how I pronounce his name anyway. I pr like. <laughs> They pronounce it Javik, and I pronounce it Javik. Yeah. Sounds a little far fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. Mm -hmm. This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. Yeah, if you hear that noise in my videos and I'm doing this, yeah, my computer's all jacked up right now. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's my second monitor, by the way. <laughs> what about her? The Quarian? My name is Tolly. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Okay, um, what do we gotta do now? Shit, I wasn't paying attention. He said, go back to the tower and uh, show the evidence of Saren to the council. So much empty space. A thousand of my people could live here and hardly even see each other. So much empty space. We need it. We need this empty space. What you talking about? It never gets dark here. They keep the artificial sunlight on at all times. The ambassadors have this beautiful park to relax in, but most of them are too busy to ever use it. Yeah. The first CSEC posting was here on the Presidium. Mostly for show, not much crime. Yeah. Okay, what am I supposed to do now? <clears throat> I got the... Ev oh, we gotta go to the Citadel now. Let me see. What'd you say? I got the ev Oh, we gotta go to the Citadel now. 
The Citadel Mountain? What the, what the hell are you doing, sir? Let me see. Exposed error. So we got the proof, I think. First of all, we gotta save this. I mean, if there was a faster way to travel to the... Okay, here we go. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I have requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. I can put in a word with the Embassy and speed things along. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Okay, let's go to the bar real quick. Is this the guy? My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Damn, that's kind of messed up, but... I'll tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Batia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Okay. I mean, you know, the truth has to come out first before you do something. Okay. <clears throat> We've taken care of one problem. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? It's not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. It's unacceptable. I'll let you know what I can do. Thank you. Oh my goodness! I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's go. Let's go check out that Asari first, real quick. Talk to the bar. You know everybody else in the bar. What they know about the whole thing. Then you get her. Then you get your information. Welcome. I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What do you do here, Nolina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. Hmm. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. It's almost like... My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. It kind of sounds like ASMR for some reason. Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort, but if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in, um, three or four months. 
Oh my god. <laughs> These are sorry. Hold on. What is the consort? What does she do? It's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. I already did. Um... What do you do here, Nolita? Hang on, where'd that appointment go? ensure that they leave contented. What? My specialty is touch. My fingertips... Okay, I guess. Every <laughs> tension point I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in... Mm, oh my god. Three or four months. Again? <laughs> Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Um, I was, I was chatting with my friend. Uh, Azurius. If you're watching, hey dude. Yes, of course, mistress. <laughs> it appears okay. the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. I mean, they pointed me in this direction, so we'll go see. I mean, there's so many clients, it looks like. I wonder who the Cesari is. We got a Geth, we got the Turians, we got the Krogans, and now we got... Hold up, what'd you say again? <laughs> we got a Geth, we got... <laughs> we got a Geth? No, that's until Mass Effect 2, buddy. Yeah, you don't get a Geth until Mass Effect 2. You got a Quarian. A quarian, okay. A quarian. <laughs> I feel like I'm lecturing him. Who I think I am? His father. We got the Turians. We got the Krogans, and now we got the Asari and the Quarians. Are you talking about the species? I bet you was. But for real though, you still don't got a guess. And that's until Mass Effect 2. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our Citadel. You wanted to speak with me? I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Tell me about this problem you're having. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Cora's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. I don't make any promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Commander. That is all I can ask. Appeal to a sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many so, clients waiting to see me. So, can these Asaris read minds or something? They, they, they make it sound like she's, well, just like Shepard said. Like she's an oracle. <laughs> okay, so we gotta go to... Anyways, the, the music in this game kind of reminds me of the music from... Um... Oh god, over here. I'm just over here like cautious. The last time I've been here. Is this the guy? Go away. Let me, no. let me 
Is it this this the guy? Not now. Commander. What do you want? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is pathetic. What could a woman do to put you in this state? Because <laughs> she rejected me. Me! Septimus Oraka, General of the Turian Fleet. I mean... <laughs> let's, let's, now, nah, let's... What is, is it really word? worth it? There must be other women. It's not just any woman I want. <laughs> it's, it's her, and her alone. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. I, I mean, one rejection isn't gonna... You know, one rejection... I mean, you gotta go through multiple rejections. You gotta be, uh, how do you say, you gotta be assertive with people, women. Enjoy your drink, General. Yeah, off you sure. go. See you later, kid. I don't know what I pressed. We can't just leave him like this. <laughs> don't waste your time, kid. Run away now while you still can. You need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? Huh? No, those days are over. I'll just be what I am. A tired, lonely, worn-out soldier. Do you really want to be remembered this way? No, I'd rather not be remembered at all. But I see your point. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? It damn well couldn't hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there. Believe Shaira gave up his secrets. Why would he think such a thing? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think you'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to, and where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, <laughs> you might make a good general yourself <laughs> one day. I like how he put that. Acting like soldiers. Whoa, what happened there? Okay, now we gotta go to the embassy. This like leads on and leads on. Like it just keeps going. Is there like a way? To yeah, I don't like I don't like this about Mass Effect One. The side quests are a little bit tedious, in my opinion. It just fast travel this whole thing. And it breaks my game too. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosco? Will he return my wife's body? Not yet. I'll be back when I have Thank work. you, Commander. Okay, what am I... I can't remember. Where, where are we... Uh, in the embassy. Oh, hold on. Let's check over here. It could be in here. I mean, if there, if there was a faster way to play this, <laughs> I would definitely do it. Din Korlak? Is it this guy? Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Din. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak. Volus Ambassador. 
Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? Um, well. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, <laughs> Earth Clan. I guess we'll deal this deal with this in the next episode, you guys. Um, make sure to get the likes, likes. Let me know if you guys want more content with my commentary. Leave a comment if you like. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Feel free to share my content to people who actually support my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Mass Effect. Mass Effect. Mass Effect. Bye bye. <laughs>